It's not gonna drop the. <laughs> you got me. Fuck, that's clever. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 28 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge and countless Snobster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited and Mega Man Rock and Roll, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. To submit your stage for the competition, check out the pinned comment. Do not leave your stage ID in this video. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates your Mega Man Maker Stages competition. If you don't know what this is, go check out the uh, first episode I did on this series where I explained the rules and uh, what you can submit and what you can't submit. Alright, let's pick our first uh, stage. And I'm using the randomizer solely because if I, if I did this from the beginning to the end, we would always be behind. Like so much, so it's better just to randomize. Imagine me getting like a hundred uh, levels. It would take me two years to get to the hundred. So let's just randomize them every time. Let's pick the first stage for us. Fuck. Alright, there we go. Benzai woman. Can you copy and paste into the game? This level was supposed to be part of a level. Part of a level part. Warning, parts of this game may include flashing images. If you are sensitive to this kind of thing, proceed with caution. Ah! Oh! Can you escape out of that if you're sensitive to lights? Well, you can just exit the window. Alright. 1.6.3. <laughs> Last time I played this was like 1.0 or something. Is there something wrong with this music? I don't know, it sounds strange. Maybe it's just my ears. Alright, there we go. Got some legit uh, music. So first you click play. Then you click online. Then you put in your password and then you click play again. Then you click find levels. It's an awful lot of work just to get to the game. Holy shit, you can copy paste. Thank heavens. Banzai woman. He has literally updated uh, like four, four hours ago. Four years ago. I hope not. Super Smash Gaming. Let's see. You know what the funny part about this is? He's gonna get first place no matter what for a while. Slide enabled. Charge Mega Man 6. With one weapon. Wow. It's been so long since I've... Uh, like played this, I don't even know what the weapons are in the game. Magma Bazooka, nice. Very interesting. The first thing I noticed when I land here is that your spawn point is here. You're literally hugging a wall. So I would probably like expand this area down here a bit more to the right. So you're not immediately hugging a wall when you land. So you can swap characters. Uh, Got base now, this is really uh, interesting. Haven't played this in a long time. It's a, uh, an okay start. Should have probably not picked up base. But that's my own fault. Very interesting you can uh, do that. It's a good uh, teaching element on the uh, show. Let's see what we have here. That's probably due to the engine. Everything disappears and reappears as you scroll through the screens. Those are probably some kind of objects that do that. They look nice, so I'm not gonna call you out on that. They look fantastic. You can uh, dash, as usual. It still weirds me out how you can go back and forth like this. That's not... not ideal. There we go, that's a nice uh, enemy placement there. Get to see what it does before you uh, hop right in. I do like the placements for base. That's really well thought out. You can use his skill set to kill enemies. If you didn't pick base, well, your own fault. So far, uh, a good start. Nothing really uh, 
Out of the ordinary, but it looks really nice. I like the tiles. It. It's uh, a fun job so far. Uh, these enemies, though, are placed in a way where you really can't get hit by them. At least at the beginning here, there's really no situation where these would kill you or even hit you. But I guess it's all part of the teaching elements you're putting uh, down for us. We've got more uh, teaching elements. Maybe uh, later on in the stage, you'll uh, make us work for it and. Uh, Oh right, I had double jump. Interesting. So playing this through again with Mega Man can be a different experience, for sure. I like, I like the fact that you gave us Magma Bazooka. So let's see if you uh, put those teaching elements to use. Here we go. How does Magma Bazooka work with this? I was kind of hoping that the Magma Bazooka would uh, actually heal this fellow. Because you're killing fire with fire. Mega Man Maker! But that's uh, probably due to the engine and not your design. But then again, that does tie into the uh, idea of selecting your weapons for the enemies. So these don't really pose a threat, huh? They just walk around. Just have to be careful about uh, hitting the heads. And uh, it is getting a bit repetitive, like the stage doesn't really... it has not gone anywhere in a long time. It really just repeats a lot. That's from... that's a telly from the uh, Mega Man 8 and... Mega Man and base games. Fantasy. Perhaps our first uh, encounter uh, of a real thread. Hmm. There's a meat bus, huh? Interesting premise. I sure hope uh, I kept Mega Man. <laughs> the double jump is not gonna do me much. Very interesting layout. I like this. Uh, I like the uh, room and how you've done it. Very fresh. I think Bomb Man always. Uh, I think Bomb Man benefits from a, a level uh, design like this where uh, the floor is constantly moving. Because his AI is a bit limited, like what he can do. So adding a, a conveyor belt on the floor, uh, really smart. Really gives you a gives you a new kind of fight with Bomb Man. I really like this. Very well thought out. That's a meat pass you can dig. I mean, that's very well done. I should probably use the Magma Bazooka to be uh, be honest with you, but uh, that went fine though. And I like the fights. That probably would have been the weakness. So here we got a new challenge with these. I would have probably added some kind of a, like a thread down here. Maybe even spikes. I mean, we already know how these work. So maybe even add spikes down there. Or a pit. Some kind of hazard. Enemies. Something. It's just a waste of screen there. And uh, another teaching element on this. Uh... And there we go. Uh... Nothing too bad here. I'm getting the uh, feeling that I sometimes get... Oh, nice. You can kill that. Cho like that. I'm getting the feeling that I sometimes get with these levels. The repetition is probably the biggest issue we're gonna see on this series. And just like that, we have the same issue in this level. There's a bit of repetition. There's the innovation here uh, can be lacking at times. That's cute. So, it's really easy. It keeps going on the same way for a really long time. So the flow of this level uh, will suffer. Just trying to check if you can destroy that. See, I'm learning here which you guys. I haven't played this in a long time. So... Definitely missing the wow factor. Definitely missing the actual challenge. Uh, very repetitive. Very good. Very good that you added this uh, lip here. Very uh, nice idea so you don't instantly drop down. Holy hell. Oh my. For a long period of time. This stage reminds me of something that you would see in uh, Powered Up. <laughs> That's cute. Because uh, it doesn't really challenge you until that one spot where it does. 
It's like one real threat in this entire stage so far. I loved Bomb, man. At the beginning was done well, where it introduces all the different enemies to you. But I also wish you could change back to Mega Man. So now that I picked base... Maybe you had to pick this. I can't really switch back. Let's try this again and hopefully our, our uh, controls will not get stuck. Wait a minute. Can't you not get through that? I mean, we don't have a slide, I understand that. Can we somehow switch back to Mega Man there? Don't tell me if I picked base, I'm fucked. Just cause you picked up base. You're just gonna die. What the fuck? We have a bit of a problem. Alright, I have someone uh, checking this for me. <laughs> Am I just this dumb or uh, have you made a grand mistake in your level design? Just because I picked up base, I can't advance. I mean, I don't see any transformation back to Mega Man. Oh boy. I have an idea. Maybe if we slide and then jump in the midair. Uh... No. If a level has an obstacle I can't pass, and I don't know how to do it, well then that's a bit of a problem. Mega Man stage just should be self-explanatory in a way where uh, the player doesn't get stumped like this. I mean, it's good to have some brain teasers, but I don't think there's a way to go past this now. I think we have to restart the whole level and pick Mega Man instead. That's a huge problem. A really big problem, if that's the case. I mean, you should at least give us the Mega Man transformation back if you can't go past that. Essentially, this is almost like a troll level. Unless I'm really misunderstanding this somehow. But I'm not sure how I would be. Maybe it's up here. I'm gonna exhaust every possible. I mean, why wouldn't that be? No, there's nothing I can do. Well, time to restart. Retry. Yes. So don't pick base, because you can't beat the level. Wow! <laughs> Bit of an oversight to add a base in the level and then... <laughs> I can't beat it! Oh, that's, I'd, I'd consider that a troll. My tester has checked out the level. Oh, there's a secret in here. And he's also saying that it seems uh, that it's impossible to pass. So when uh, two people can't figure it out, I'll just call that uh, an awfully horrible mistake. I mean, if that base logo wasn't there, we would be fine. That was a fun challenge, though, stepping on these uh, Yoko blocks and killing the... Uh, uh, enemy like that. Oh, but here's where you went wrong. This is open, but I can't go through that. That's a big no. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's blocked. Should be open somehow. Of course, not reachable from here, but you be should be able to uh, go past that. So, I mean, uh, yeah, this is much more difficult with Mega Man here. Holy hell. Oh, that's infuriating. <sighs> there we go. Let's see how this plays with Mega Man. If that base transformation pickup wasn't there, this would be a lot better. But since you now have that there, that's a troll. You can't advance if you pick that up. Maybe it was a mistake, an oversight or something like that. But I'm gonna judge the level. But I'm gonna judge the level as it is. So. That's a bit of a bummer. That's gonna... That's gonna... Lower the design score considerably. Hmm. I can't really... There's really no defending that. I can appreciate the platforming a bit more now. I mean, it's an okay level, otherwise it's just kind of boring. There's not much going on here. Playing a bit too safe, I think, is your problem here. Alright, let's see. Now that we're Mega Man, we can actually make this. Shame, I was kind of... I kind of loved uh, being base. Not gonna lie about that. He was a good fit for the level. It's just that you didn't think that through, huh? Maybe if you played the stage once, you would have seen that. Can't go to the left, even though it's open. But that's to prevent the uh, hairballs from coming back. 
So this is not too bad, I mean, I can understand that design. E tank. <laughs> nice. I love those, uh, sometimes I love these large, large caps. If they're for a, like a weapon pickup, those are fun to make. Alright, that's a bit of a useless uh, spot for the enemy there. If you at all know how those work. Definitely playing too safe in this level, uh, not really uh, thinking outside the box at all here. I'll, my favorite part so far has got to be the bomb man fight, that's really clever. Maybe not your original idea, but hey. It's here. Let's see who it is. Who, who this Banzai Boomer. Oh, well. I can see that. <laughs> um, two health bars? Oh my god. Oh. That's a boss fight, huh? Holy hell. Alright, let's figure this out. I haven't really uh, done Blast Man yet. In this game. Oh no, the screen is scrolling up. Oh no. That's gonna make me sick. Not the best design there. But then again, maybe Blast Man needs the room. Who's that to say? Hell with this. Oh. Here we go. I'm starting to learn this. So, of course, I haven't played 11 in a long time either, so. Oof! Luckily, the contact damage is not too bad. My man! That's a lot of damage. Oh. <laughs> For some reason he had two health bars, but just died after one. Okay. Man. I'm not gonna like and dislike. I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that part of this out. Because I'm gonna score this anyway. Started out uh, strong, but... Then we uh, were faced with a problem, not being able to switch back to Mega Man, having an obstacle there. So that was pretty much uh, the nail to the coffin for this one. It was a, a strong start. I loved the bottom map fight. Then you played it a bit too safe here and there, not really uh, challenging the player enough. But then you had that really big issue with, with base and not being able to switch back to Mega Man to clear that gap, so... Not sure what happened there, but that's a huge problem. Level uh, looked really nice, I love the aesthetics of it, really uh, good looking level. Progression again, not really going anywhere in the entire level, it's just really just uh, not experimenting enough. And with that, the fun factor uh, had, okay, had an okay time, but it just wasn't enough. Design 3.3, delivery 7.1, progression 2.5. Fun Factor, 2.8, with a total score of 3.9. Would you look at that, first place. Alright, let's check another one. Aurora, Outpost Ruins. Slide enabled, charge disabled. Got Ring Boomerang and uh, Search Snake. Fascinating choices. Looking nice, got that chill man aesthetic. And of course, uh, Really a self-explanatory what uh, surfaces are icy and what are not. So you can tell uh, where you slide around. That uh, uh, works well. The uh, music kind of fits. It's like that dreary uh, nighttime snow when you can't see uh, in front of you at all. Of course, I'm talking about real life here. Get with the times. So you got the... Uh, Got the bombs from Mega Man 1. Bullet Bills. Let's see how they uh, like the Ring Boomerang. Apparently they hate them. Fun weapons here. I loved, uh, like these weapons. Nice aesthetic down there. With the different colored block. Holy hell. Yep, we know how these work. Bam. Use that as a platform or you can just kill that. I would assume that the Ring Boomerang probably... Uh, Heals that easily. Eh, it's alright. Of course, doesn't necessarily have to do with the stage design, but just testing. 
It's a bit of an awkward jump here. Why would you go here and get this energy though? Like there's really like no point in getting that small energy, right there. nobody's gonna get that. And then you have to make that ridiculous jump back. Not really worth it. And that early in the stage, get a small energy, not really a viable. And as I know the range of these, I knew uh, I was far enough, so this cannot hit us. Good teaching, I'm showcase see what can, what uh, what that can do. Really nicely done. Always uh, show the player the mechanics of the level, show the enemies how they work, and then put them to the test. This plant will actually get you. Nicely done. I like that. Really small, uh, tiny ladder here. <laughs> I like that aesthetic. Really, uh, uh, looks like a, a fun time. I have never really considered doing anything like that, but this looks really cool. They should have done uh, designs like this in the original games. I really like a small, tiny ladder. I don't know why that's so funny to me. That is uh, great. I like that. And we got a bit of a useless challenge. I mean, who's gonna die to this? You know, this light there. It's alright, but nothing too mind breaking. I don't know what this pole is. Looks like it's in the foreground. Bit of a questionable design there. Here it makes more sense, but it still looks like it's blocking us. Oh nice, got the uh, cockroaches from Mega Man 7. Again, showing us how they work and then there's a possibility they can come up and... Well, not do anything because that's how they work. That's actually a pretty clever idea. Uh, it's wholesome, as somebody would say. And then once you get there, uh, you're in the way. Uh, of the bullet, but you have the ring boomerang, so m might as well use it. If you didn't have that, well, how would you do this? Well, you would probably kill that first, and then you have a free range to kill this. So all in all, that's a good job. You hit your head here, which sometimes can happen, it's a bit limited how the engine works, of course, but if you can, try and avoid that from like happening. It's not always possible, like in a design like this. I understand. I accidentally pressed the slide button. But... That's... I, I'm not sure if he did that on purpose, but kind of uh, the cockroach is getting stuck on ice. That's f fucking cute. I'll, I'm telling you that uh, right now. I pressed the slide button again, I had to disable that. Holy shit! The ring boomerang <laughs> gives you items. That's a f uh, fun thing. Really uh, hilarious to see this... Uh, this wall here though gives me the uh, gives me the assumption that uh, you could go through this, but it's just uh, there to be there. So far, the cockroach is really uh, not uh, not contributing anything to the game except being cute on the stage. Rather, you do hit your head here again. Not a big fan because you randomly just hit your head on random things. Something to polish. Yeah, here we go. Bit of a uh, Weird room placement for those. The cockroach is really a... Uh, how would you get that? The cockroach is really not playing too well in the level. They're not really doing anything. But maybe in time they will. Uh, there you go. That's fun. So really intriguing design so far. Alright, treating us like a dog. Get the energy. Then fetch the stick. Not really my favorite favorite way to uh, reward the player. That's uh, es essentially you're making me feel like a peon. <laughs> That's really cool. Again, you make us work for literally like the rewards are they're just not worth it. The reward is too small. There's not really no sense in going there. So the challenge as you've uh, showed us, uh, showed us uh, so far, not really, uh, not all that great. But you, uh, you seem to be an expert on uh, making things look cute. I mean, that's gotta count to something. Maybe I should not kill that. <clears throat> that's a nice thing to see. Have an element like this in your stage, but then what does that do? It does nothing. So I would hope here that. Once you actually realize you can use that platform to go up there, have an actual prize for the player. This, this really didn't do anything for us here. 
If anything, that could be more difficult than this. <laughs> Not, it's a cool idea, but it just didn't think it through. You didn't bring it home. That was not a home run. The, the idea was there, but you just didn't utilize the idea at all. But I can comment you've heard the idea. You at least thought about it. Bit of a teaching element on, on uh, ice blocks, which is nice. And just uh, breaking them, using that one as a platform. Nice job. What is this? Alright, I've got uh, sheep map platforms, another teaching element here. You're teaching the player well. But sometimes when you try to add challenge, you're not really utilizing it well enough. You're kind of half fast about it. There we go. Shotman. Really uh, a bit of a pointless screen again here. The job being so close to us, not a problem. But I like that. I like that uh, scary moments of you uh, possibly dropping down because you are not looking, uh, looking at the floor. I like that idea. So that was the stage, huh? Really, uh, it's a traditional take on a Mega Man stage. Again, playing very safe, something I do not really like. And uh, you had some great ideas, didn't really bring it home. So I was kind of sad about that. You had the opportunity to really uh, make the level shine, but then there's a huge, uh, a few hiccups here and there. Uh, not really a challenge. Maybe it's just because I played Mega Man for so long. But that's a good. Uh, level for like a beginner Mega Man player. But other than that, I, I really think the ideas that you had, you didn't really, uh, you didn't maximize the capacity of your brain, if you know what I mean. There could have been so much more in this level. And that's the biggest downfall here. Design. You had some nice ideas, didn't bring it home, but I can uh, respect the things that you tried to do with the stage. Design. 3.9. Delivery. Uh, I think it looks really nice. 7.3. Progression. Again, not really going anywhere, but here and there, some nice ideas. But overall, not the uh, level of quality I would expect. I'll give you a 3.1 for that. Fun factor. I kind of had fun. I mean, but it was uh, short-lived. 3.2. And total score is 4.4. I'll try to do uh, 3 every time for each episode. I'm early. Here's my entry. Mega Man 3 Legacy Collection of Wily's Grey Rooftop. Kung Fu Cutsman. Oh my god, I didn't show you. I hope that doesn't happen often, but it probably will. Here's the <laughs> semi-proof that I actually clicked the uh, random button. My bad. I'll try not to do that again. At least we have some positive scores in these. Weird level name. Let's not let that bother us. Kung Fu. <laughs> That's cute. Let's check it out. Hello? Slide enabled, charge disabled. Hard knuckle, shadow blade, and top spin with rush coil. Interesting set of weapons. Alright. Yeah, it definitely looks like a, a Mega Man 3, uh, like an endgame stage. Green blocks uh, clashing a little bit with the other uh, aesthetics in the uh, room here. Not a big fan, but I can see what you tried to do. I can respect that. And here you go. Got an introduction to an enemy. Of course, you somehow shoot through that. Mega Man Maker! But there you go. Introduction to enemies. Done alright. Let's see if we can uh, figure out uh, a weapon for this. Always fun to figure out weapons and uh, see how you uh, utilize them for your level uh, design there. And that was well done there. Giving us the Shadow Blade to kill that uh, enemy. I will do it out. Of course, uh, you're trying to have the teaching limit for us, right there, in the ground. So, in some way that works, but it's really not, maybe not the best way to do it, but I'm not mad. I mean, that's alright. Bit of a questionable design, sure, but I'll let that slide. Alright. Some generic uh, jump and shoot goodness here, this is what Mega Man is about. Good platforming, I like that section there. Oh, the screen notched a bit. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem there. What comes to the delivery, losing uh, some points for these uh, little notch of the screen there, and that's probably gonna be fixed. Interesting. Very interesting, and you added the ladders there to tell us that you indeed cannot go through that. That's really a good way to do that. I'm really impressed. 
That's uh, well done. So it gives you the assumption uh, that yeah, you can't just walk left and leave the screen, and you really tell the player what why these are here. That's really well done. And that uh, to fight the cat with the platform uh, is fun. And how the uh, hairballs jump on it and off it. That's a good meat boss there. Got some more uh, platforming here. Not really a fan of hiding like parts of the enemies outside of the screen. It's kind of it's a cheap way to do it. Essentially, it doesn't look good. But I can I uh, I can uh, I can respect the uh, design here though. Uh, the design is all right. I mean. Maybe if there's a way to uh, deal with this, probably not, but maybe with the top spin, making a good use of the uh, top spin there. In actuality, wouldn't have believed uh, to ever say that, but you've done it. Nice little section there, and then of course it comes back because it's on this screen. I keep pressing the slide button, I need to disable that somehow. I hope you can do that. Nice, you don't clip to the upper platform, I was afraid that would be the case. Uh, no, let's see what's in here. Looks like a secret. Indeed, weapon energy. That's a g I think that's a good pickup. This wasn't too hard, and you have the checkpoint there as well. So really interesting enemy choices here. So first uh, you introduced us to these red platforms, now putting us to the test. I think uh, really well done here. And. Uh, while the green blocks at first did not fit the level too well, now it kind of looks like they do. It's just that you have to be really careful where you place them so it doesn't look cheap. I'm not sure if you can farm on those uh, tops, I don't think so. Let's see if I can uh, break your stage here, boy. Nope, you've thought of everything. Well done. Let's see if I can do it again. Oof, I really don't like how you go back to screens. <laughs> nope. You have thought about that. That's that's good. We're actually uh, losing health here. Because I'm uh, digging around. But there's a full health refill down there. It's like a... Just a free health refill. I don't really like that. Like, why did you give us energy back? I should be punished for my mistakes. I should not be uh, gifted. With a full held. Essentially, there's no challenge here. You just take it. That's really. I don't like. I don't really uh, like that design. We. Oof! Fucking uh, energy balancer. We uh, lost the energy. We should deal with the consequences. Honestly. Oof! Bit of a rough challenge. They're rough on the edges. <laughs> oh shit! I like this, but at the same time, holy fuck! Going a bit overboard, I mean, I'm not gonna lie about that. A, a little bit overboard, but hey, that was fun. Again, uh, it kind of has the same problem of looking cheap. It is cheap. If you had s some way to make this look more professional, it would have nailed, uh, nailed the screen. It's not bad. And you're playing well with the uh, mechanics you put in the level. Can we... I'm kind of curious. Oh, Why did I do that? I kind of want to break your level, I mean. We have to check that. Would not be an evaluation if I didn't. Let's go back and check that again. So I like that you gave us the weapons, but you're not... You're not demanding that we use them. So they're, they're there just so uh, we can uh, indeed uh, put them to use if we want, but they're not necessary. Again, get the full health back. Like, it doesn't matter what you did until that point, because you're just gonna get your energy back. So not, not really a fan. You should not do that. Well, if you can, it's your level. I'm just saying, uh, for me personally, it's not like, uh, it's not how Mega Man is designed. <sighs> Try and land some shots here. Alright, there we go. We got in, we got in. Don't think you can lose any Lifix.
Nope. All right, cool. That has been uh, done well. Hi. <laughs> That's a neat idea. You got me, so. Not bad. Every time you can kind of trick the player, but do it in a fair way. I like that. So far, this is a. Uh, this is the best level so far. Has a lot of screens though, but when I say 20 to 40 screens, it's not like you have to be in that range. I mean, just close enough. Just don't submit like a two screen, 200 screen levels. Here, uh, again, the tops going left, kind of playing against the design there. Because they're not really uh, caused too much harm to you. Another cat, not bad though. I can leave it then. Alright, then you go down here. Interesting design. Really clever uh, ways to design levels. This guy knows what he's doing. I mean, I can tell that it's not like a level from an official game. But it's done so well that I kind of... I forget about that as I play this. Oh, that still happens in Mega Maker, huh? Like, I did not press the button down for that long, but it's still... But it's still uh, thought I did it. I'm back here. Wow. This is a uh, Mega Man Unlimited uh, checkpoint placement here. We, we, when you die, you go back. I can appreciate that. We made a mistake. Well, the game fucked us, basically. <laughs> but... Maybe if your stage is this long, you can consider adding another checkpoint. It's not a problem for me, but it can be a problem for uh, other people. It's really, uh, I'm, I mean, we went back. I mean, re we really went back. I wonder if you can top spin the cats. I don't even know what that does on the uh, original game. That could be a hidden weakness nobody knows about. We should try that. I'm really enjoying this because there's no troll levels. I enjoy these rules because it's not just like spam and uh, spammy gimmicky stages. Oh yeah, look at that. That is fucking hilarious. I like top spin when it's utilized well. And here it really works. It works out. It's a nice choice for the level. I mean, I, I can respect that choice. Well, if we just pick up the pace here. Ooh, nice. Nice hammer shows. Uh oh, that's my bad. Kind of re repeats here. The stage kind of repeats there. Not a huge fan. Really n not adding anything new to the table, essentially. Oof. Almost dodged that. I love how you dodged that one eyeball there. Oh my god. Please don't die now. As we learned, you go back. I can't jump straight to that one. Oh my god, that's close. Whew. Basic test. Why does Rush keep going away? Alright. Please. There we go, we were right at the checkpoint, that's fine. It's still going. There's a secret in here. For an E tank. I guess we're gonna get that. Oh! Well, it's right at the checkpoint, why would you not get that? There's really no risk versus reward here. The checkpoint placement really encourages you to try this every single time until you get it. Yeah, that keeps happening in this game apparently. It's not, not the input I'm doing. I wish there was like an enemy you could bounce off of with top spin. I was sure I was gonna make that. Maybe uh, if you had a ring boomerang or something. This, that's really precise. Mm. All right, got it. Just gotta feel about with. It. All right, let's see what this is about. Again, when you don't know what to do, top spin. It's a nice design, but Buster only. That's gonna be a bit hectic. If you think about this being a level in an official game, you don't have top spin yet. <gasps> Oof. 
I thought these were those uh, <laughs> green uh, bear traps, but no. That's a nice chaos element, I suppose, there. It's a long stage, I mean, hell. A bit too long. If your stage is long, make sure you're innovating throughout, so you don't stagger. Oh, shit. Another E-tank down there. How was I supposed to know that? I can still go back, so I can respect that. I can go back and get it, so not too bad. But if I was like completely missing that and not able to go back, I mean, then that would have been bad. But the fact that you can go back... Oh! You keep doing this! This is the worst one. <laughs> oh. Now you're just repeating things and make it... Like, you're making it artificially difficult there. I'm not a big fan of that. Y you've stopped the innovation and you've just started to troll us a little bit there. But, here's the gate. I was gonna wait for that eyeball to walk on the platform. There we go, let's see who it is. Yes, it's she. Fill everything up. Mm, not a big fan of that. It's magnet, man, let's see. It's not gonna drop that. You got me. Fuck, that's clever. Jeez. Let's hope it's the Shadow Blade. That's a... N oh, wow. That's a nice idea, I mean... Hmm. It looks cheap. But man, is it, that's effective. It's really effective. Yeah, if you somehow could make this look more professional... That would be really cool. But uh, I like this. You also need the Shadow Blade, I'm pretty sure. But you get the Ashichi every time, so... Not really a problem. So, this is a, a mindfuck, I'm telling you. Thing about this is, the magnets really don't do enough damage. So, essentially, you don't have to care about the damage. Just take damage here. He's gonna die before you do. So that's the biggest fault in this fight. You're not gonna die before he does. There's no way. If he can just land these shots, he will die first. That's a bit of a problem here. He's always gonna be one damage ahead. It's a jovial idea, but the execution uh, need needed more work, for sure, here. I can appreciate the idea, but... You just needed to improve on that. I really like it, though. Like, I like... I like the uh, holy shit aspect of it. That was really good. Maybe a bit too long. Maybe kind of staggered at the end there. Probably the best one today. Design, 7.8. Delivery, 7.0. Progression, 6.1. Fun Factor, 7.9. Total score, 7.2. If you agree with what I said, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike. I'll catch you next time. Keep submitting those levels, but not in this video. Check the pinned comments. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching another Nico Evaluates. Join us in Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Impact the show in my Patreon, or just throw a few bucks if you wanna buy me coffee. Check our merch at teespring.com slash store slash snapster and get my quotes on your shirt. If you want to see weekly Mega Man races, go ahead and subscribe to Snapster. Catch you on the next one.